Ma'am, firstly, congratulations to you and all the scientists at ISRO for Aditya L1 launch today. What is the mood in ISRO right now, ma'am? Yeah, it's the mood is very uh, jubilant because uh, following the success of our successful landing of Chandrayaan three, we could uh, have the next bigger mission too. So the everybody was very happy, and we could uh, place the Aditya L1 in the intended orbit. Ma'am, what is the mission of this whole project? What what are we planning to achieve through this? Uh, are we looking at uh, the solar flares that comes in, and how does it affect our atmosphere? What more data can we get through this? Yeah, it's mainly for the study of all the major solar events. We have a uh, suit of seven instruments, and uh, they will be uh, looking at uh, coronal mass ejection, solar flares, and uh, solar wind studies. And it's to have an understanding of all these major events and its influence on the space weather, and also to have a good understanding of the coronal heating. So these are all the major objectives, and we have in situ particle measurement. Uh, uh, Right, payloads too, so they will be measuring, and uh, it will be can give a precursor to space weather alerts. Ma'am, this is the farthest that we have ever gone in terms of projects that we have traveled 1.5 million kilometers away. That we are putting uh, Aditya L1 in uh, Aditya L1 in that lag range uh, spot in L1 spot. How difficult was this in the run up to the launch today? Ah, it's a run up to the launch. Okay, we have our regular. Uh, it's our workhorse PSLV, and we have had about the a restart of the PS4 engine that we have already tried. But but the first time we are trying for the main uh, payload, so that way it was quite challenging, and we could achieve it. Uh, and coming to the distance, what you are talking, we have gone still further to the Mars. Mars is some 400 million kilometers. Correct, the Mangalyaan mission. Yes. Yeah, Mangalyaan mission. So this is totally a different mission. It's not uh, capturing it to the planet or like that. It's an imaginary point which we like to uh, orbit around it, and uh, it's a totally a different ball game. Uh, inserting and maintaining in the halo orbit. Ma'am, one final question, ma'am. Uh, the Prime Minister and everyone have been tweeting. Praising about the achievement that ISRO has uh, taken up today. What next for ISRO, and uh, how crucial will this Aditya L1 data be, not just for ISRO but across the global fraternity for space and space enthusiasts? Yeah, this uh, because it's uh, as we you see every globally everyone our space assets are uh, largely uh, manifold. It has increased now compared to the yester years, and this will be a good. Uh, this will give uh, in addition to the global missions, whatever we have similar to the sun studies we have by NASA, is a uh, many missions. So we can join with them, and we have a holistic uh, space weather prediction. We can help in getting a uh, globally a better space weather prediction. Um, final question, ma'am. Can you take us through the journey of Aditya L1 from today to the L1 point? The 125 days of journey. How crucial would it be for having the exact maneuvers to be done? Yeah, we have uh, uh, starting from tomorrow. We have four Earth maneuvers to uh, raise it, and finally uh, we have a trans L1 injection that will. Uh, uh, with that, we will be exiting from the Earth's influence, and then. Further, for almost uh, three months, ninety to hundred days, we'll be traveling uh, along the influence of the sun, and uh, after that, we'll have a maneuver to insert into the halo. Well, final congratulations to and your team, ma'am, and a big, big achievement that we're all smiling with pride today. That what has happened with Aditya L1. A final congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.